Hi, a very good afternoon everyone. So, uh, in next 5 minutes what I will do, I will try to describe different WHO growth charts and how to interpret that. Okay, so uh, without delay, before I show the different growth charts and its interpretation, we have to understand what growth chart has. Growth chart has got different curved lines printed on the growth chart and when you plot, for example, weight for age or height for age, or weight for height it represents over a period of time the child's growth status now in that growth chart if you see the line labeled zero is median which is the average and the other curved lines are z score lines for example one z score if it is there it indicates the distance from the average now the median the average and the z score lines on the growth chart has been derived from measurement of children in WHO multi-centric growth reference study uh, who were fed and raised in an environment that favored optimal growth. So based on that study, we have got this median and z-score lines for <coughs> each growth chart. Now we have seen on, J, uh, on the growth chart, the z-score lines are numbered positively 1, 2, 3 or negatively also minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Now how to interpret it, just an example. If a point, plotting point falls between minus 2 to minus 3 Z score, it means below 2. If the point falls between plus 2 to plus 3 Z score lines, it is above 2, right? Now, now this table is very important. So what we have done, uh, so we, uh, we already know that on a growth chart, we have median, which is 0. And if you go on a positive side, it will be above 1, above 2, above 3. If you go on the negative side, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So this is the Z score interpretation. We are taking four indicators. First one is height for age. Second one is weight for age. Third one is weight for height. And the fourth one is BMI for age. Let's take first one, height for age. So what we are going to see as the age increases, because age will not stop, what is the increase in height because the child height should increase so what is the uh, pattern of height increase as per age now if if the plotting you have done if you have done if it falls above three right so above three mean the child is very tall in comparison to his age now tallness is not a big problem, it is a rare pro problem unless and until you come across an endocrine disorder where it shows that it is a growth hormone producing tumor. In such case you need to refer to the endocrinologist. Right? So above 2, above 1, 0, minus 1 is not a problem. But if the height for age falls below minus 2 Z score line, it means the child is stunted. and if it falls minus 3 Z score line below minus 3 it is severely stunted now this stunted or severely stunted no one clause is also there it is a there is a possibility a child can be stunted or severely stunted and at times uh, simultaneously he can be overweight also just for a reference now let's say the second indicator weight for age now as the age increases weight is increasing as per the age or not so if you see if the plotting falls between above 1 above 2 and above 3 z score line so they are saying let's see note 2 what's note 2 says so uh, there can be a problem so if any child falls in between above 1 above 2 above 3 there can be a growth problem but this is best assessed by weight for height or BMI for age which I will be discussing subsequently. Now the weight for age if it is average below minus 1 not a problem but if weight for age falls below minus 2 Z score line then the child is underweight and if it falls below minus 3 it is severely underweight and this is considered as very low weight in IMCI module uh, which is integrated management of childhood illness and in Indian version it is IMNCI integrated management of neonatal and childhood illness. Let's take the third indicator weight for height right. So we are checking whether as per the height weight is increasing or not. 
if the plotting plotting you have done for the child if it falls above 3 the child is obese if it falls above 2 it is overweight and if it falls above 1 there is a risk of overweight possible risk of overweight right if it is 0 minus below minus 1 not a problem but if the weight for height is below minus 2 it is wasting and if it is below minus 3 it is severely wasting right so this is weight for uh, height the last one is bmi we know body mass index we calculate weight in kg divided by height in meter square so if bmi you are plotting for with uh, with vis-a-vis uh, -vis age so if bmi falls above 3 z score line it is obese if it falls above 2 z score line it is overweight and if it falls above 1 it is possible risk of overweight and if uh, it falls min below minus 2 z score line it is wasting and if it falls below minus 3 it is severely wasting so this table has to be always checked whenever you are interpreting this stunting wasting underweight and things right let's see now let's see how to do now we should all this this chart you can download from who website so for girls it is separate and for boys it is separate weight for age now here only if you can see as the age increases what happens to the weight whether weight is increasing or not so this indicates underweight if the weight will be less right underweight so if you remember if you remember the table it says let's go back to the table for you and wait for age underweight if it falls below minus 2 right if it falls below minus 2 here this the child is underweight and if it falls below minus 3 so severely underweight here it is underweight here it is severely underweight right so this is about weight for age so this is for girls for boys also you have to do the uh, separate plotting if it falls in between minus 2 to minus 3 it is underweight underweight if it falls below minus 3 it is severely underweight right so this is with regard to weight for age for example the child age is 2 years you know 2 years 6 months so this is the point and the child weight is uh, for example 16 kg so let me plot 16 kg comes here 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 so this is my point so child is not underweight but if suppose i take two years 10 month old child and the weight is for example 6 kg so this will fall here so below minus 3 the child will be severely underweight so this is the way plotting you have to done and you plot the child for over the period of five years so you get a trend how the weight is how the weight is moving as per the age so this is done separately for boys and separately for girls now you uh, you can also check height for age height for age always we check for stunting right now if the height uh, for age you plot and if, if it falls under minus below minus 2 it is stunting and if it falls below minus 3 it is severely stunting right so in between below minus 2 stunting and below minus 3 it is severely stunting and in this area this area this area it's not a problem above 3 it says that uh, it can it is a rare a problem but in case there is a endocrine disorder tumor endocrine disorder, growth hormone endocrine disorders there is a possibility of this right the same thing you have to do for boys if 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 it if the height for age falls in between below minus 2 it is stunting if it falls below minus 3 it is severely stunting so age is there on x axis and length in centimeter is there on y axis right so let's go back to the table for you so you can see below minus 2 stunting and below minus 3 severely stunting now let's see weight for height right weight for height again if it falls in between minus 2 to minus 3 it is wasting and if it falls below minus 3 it is severely wasting severely wasting wasting right let's go back to the table for your better understanding below minus 2 wasting below minus 3 severely wasting 
okay this is for girls for boys also we can do if it falls between minus 2 to minus 3 it is wasting and if you can do, if it falls below minus 3 it is severely wasting here it is wasting now we can also compare bmi with age right so if you plot the bmi which you have calculated and again if it falls in between minus 2 to minus 3 it is wasting and if it falls below minus 3 it is severely wasting okay the same thing we can do for the boys also it is below minus 2 it is wasting and below minus 3 it is severely wasting now one more important thing which i missed out is the over nutrition where we check weight for height and for bmi also now if let's go to the graph if it falls above 3 for example girls we are seeing if you're plotting weight for height if it falls above uh, 3 z score line it is obese if it falls between 3 to 2 it is overweight and in 2 to 1 it is a possible risk of possible risk of overweight let's go and check whether we are correct or not yes obese overweight and possible risk of overweight similarly the same thing can be done for the boys above 3 obese 3 to 2 overweight and 2 to 1 possible risk of overweight let's check ah yes now the same thing we can do for bmi also if it is for girls if it is above 3 z score line for bmi overweight 3 to 2 sorry above 3 it is obese 2 to 3 it is overweight and 2 to 1 in between this here it is a possible risk of overweight similarly for boys also we can do above 3 is obese in between 2 to 3 is overweight in between 1 to 2 is uh, possible risk of overweight so this is the interpretation the table if you have interpreted it correctly you understand correctly so it will be easy for you to remember okay I hope this helps to understand and, and track growth chart of children. Uh, if, uh, if you have liked my video, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for further notification. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.